Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the topic prophase. This is the first phase of the karyokinesis which is nuclear division. So let us see what are the different activities a cell is performing in this phase known as the prophase. Prophase is the longest phase among all the other phases namely prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. So prophase is the longest phase and here this prophase has been again divided into three subphases that is early, mid and the late prophase. Now we are going to look into what are the different activities that are being uh, that are happening in this early, mid and the late prophase. So first let us start with the early prophase. In the early prophase the nucleus becomes spheroidal that means almost a circular structure is being attained by the nucleus. The interwoven DNA molecules condense so initially before cell division starts the DNA molecule is uh, happens or it remains as chromatin network. It has a network like structure. So slowly this interwoven DNA molecules they start condensing its size uh, decreases to form the elongated chromosome like structures that means it forms elongated thin thread like structures. The shortening of the chromosomes we are talking about this happens mainly because of two important reasons. The first is the coiling together of the scaffolding or the axial protein. So there are many protein molecules that are associated with these chromatin network. They start folding or coiling together because of which these DNA molecules also start coiling and they start attending a particular structure. The coiling of the chromatin fibers. So because of the coiling of the chromatin fibers also, so these chromosomes or the network type of form of the DNA, it now achieves a proper definite thin long thread like structure. Now in the early prophase what happens the coiling of the chromosome, this is actually assisted by certain proteins which are very important and they are known as the condensin proteins. So these condensin proteins actually help in condensation of the chromosome or the chromatin network. Animal cells they have got two centrosomes or centromeres these are called the central uh, pairs. So these central pairs initially they remain close together but these centrals now begin to shift towards the opposite sides as you can see. Why this happens? Because each of the central pair, pairs they start forming certain microtubule protein structures. Now these microtubule protein structures they grow in size and they push these central pairs towards the opposite poles. These radiating microtubule rays are known as the astral rays and these astral rays along with the centrioles they form a star shaped body which is known as the aster. As you can see this almost looks like a star. This is known as the aster. Now let's talk about the mid prophase. After the early prophase comes the mid prophase. Here further condensation of the chromatin or the chromosomes happen that means it becomes more thicker, more longer and it condenses. Now it becomes more shorter, thicker and entangled. So it uh, tries to attain a definite structure or actually a chromosome like structure and initially because it was present as a network like structure now because of condensation it will now appear uh, as a chromosome like structure. The separation of the two asters as you can see over here the two asters separate because why the microtubules they start growing and they push these two asters into towards the opposite poles. Now the this uh, move towards the opposite poles because the elongation of microtubules the nuclear membrane and the nucleus nucleolus also starts disappearing the nuclear membrane slowly starts degrading. Now let's talk about the late prophase after the early mid comes the late prophase. Here the complete disappearance of these type of cell organs like Golgi bodies, endoplasmic reticulum, very importantly nuclear membrane and the nucleus. So these all organelles they disappear. After this what happens the further condensation of the chromosomes happen and you can see the chromosomes have condensed and actually the chromosome like structures is being observed. Before this we were seeing network like structure now actually the chromosome like of structures can be observed. In this late prophase what happens the chromosome moves towards the nuclear membrane. So nuclear membrane has already dissolved and it moves these chromosomes move towards this nuclear membrane. The two asters becomes antipodal they almost move 
towards the opposite poles because of this elongation of the microtubules and the asters and the spindles these are basically collectively these are has been given a term which is known as the mitotic apparatus so in this video we have talked about the phase the first phase of the inter of the karyokinesis which is known as the prophase we have talked about the three subdivisions of the prophase that is early prophase mid prophase and the late prophase we have also talked about the different types of changes that is happening during these three phases of the prophase i hope you have understood and like this video thank you